Welcome viewers. This will be a startup, overview, and tour of a 2016 Chrysler Town & Country Touring. The video tour was filmed at Eldon Robbins Auto Sales in Longview, Washington. This Town & Country is finished in the billet silver metallic exterior color. Looking at the door panel, you have some storage with a bottle holder, your speaker right there, you have a light down there, smaller storage area right there, button for your rear vents, your power window, door lock and power mirror controls, The interior is finished in the black color scheme with leather appointed seats. Other seat appointments depending on the trim and options include cloth as well as Napa leather. You do have some storage next to the driver's seat. Now that we are in the vehicle, we'll go ahead and start her up. For 1984, Chrysler unveiled the minivan, which would go on to be a very popular vehicle segment for large families and those who wanted something more practical than most other cars. Chrysler's lineup of minivans started out with the Dodge Caravan and Plymouth Voyager, with extended wheelbase variants being introduced for 1987. Then for 1990, the Chrysler Town & Country was added to the lineup. Since then, the Chrysler minivan has lasted six generations and is one of the most common vehicles on the road, right up there with vehicles like the Ford F-Series and Toyota Corolla. Through the first five generations, the Chrysler minivan was sold as the Chrysler Town & Country and Dodge Caravan or Grand Caravan, while the Plymouth Voyager and Grand Voyager were discontinued after the third generation along with the Plymouth brand entirely. For 2017, the all-new 6th Gen Chrysler minivan was introduced and was renamed the Chrysler Pacifica, making 2016 the final year of the town and country. The 5th generation Dodge Grand Caravan, however, is still being produced and sold alongside the new Pacifica, with no major changes since 2011. This 2016 town and country we have here is part of the 5th generation Chrysler minivan, which was introduced for 2008, with the town and country lasting until 2016, and the Grand Caravan still being produced currently. This generation also marks the end of the short wheelbase models. The fifth generation Chrysler vans received a substantial refresh for the 2011 model year. From 2012 through 2014, a cargo variant was produced and sold under the Ram nameplate as the CV. It was also restyled and sold as the Volkswagen Rutan from 2009 through 2014. Trims for the 2016 Town & Country include LX, Touring, S, Touring L, Limited, and Limited Platinum. Competitors in 2016 included vehicles such as the Toyota Sienna, Honda Odyssey, Kia Sedona, and the Nissan Quest.
The town and country does have a four needle gauge cluster with an information display located within. The steering wheel is a four-spoke design wheel. It is leather wrapped. Has the controls for your voice commands, phone, controls for your display right there, your cruise control, and on the backs of the spokes you do have your seek, track, and volume buttons for the radio. Manual shiftability. Right here you do have your touch screen display for your Uconnect infotainment system. Do you have an aux port and a USB port. Air vents, an analog clock. Your climate controls right here. Traction control off for your power outlet. Hazard switch, your economy button. Basically what this does is it alters the driving characteristics in order to give you better fuel economy. Down here you have some storage, cup holders, more storage down there. as well as two power outlets. This center thing you can slide. There is storage inside with another power outlet. On top you get a little tray to store items and four cup holders. Both front seats also get armrests. Upper and lower glove boxes. Both sun visors do have vanity mirrors with lights. Sunglass holder, conversation mirror. Adjustable interior lighting. You can open your sliding doors from here. Here is the Uconnect infotainment system. Now we'll go ahead and roll down the driver's window. Both front windows are automatic in both directions. The town and country is powered by the Pentastar 3.6 liter, dual overhead cam, 24 valve, naturally aspirated V6 engine. It produces 283 horsepower at 6400 RPM and 260 pound-feet of torque at 4400 RPM. The sole transmission is a six-speed automatic and the town and country is front-wheel drive. It has a McPherson strut front suspension and a torsion beam set up for the rear. It has disc brakes all around, with the front ones being ventilated. The vehicle's curb weight is around 4,600 pounds. 
It can tow up to around 3,600 pounds and carry a payload of up to 1,400 pounds. The vehicle's fuel cap is located on the driver's side. This vehicle is flex fuel compatible as indicated by the yellow fuel cap. First up, we'll check out the third row seats. Alright, so we are in the third row of seats in the town and country, and it is surprisingly not too bad. Usually third rows of seats in most crossovers are really cramped and reserved only for children, but this third row of seats is actually not all that bad. So surprisingly roomy. Of course, the minivan is losing popularity obviously with the rise of the crossover these days. But this thing is still a good choice for a big, for a nice roomy family vehicle. You do have storage areas, a cup holder, storage and cup holders on that side. For the back, you do have coat hooks, air vents, Adjustable interior lighting, some storage, more storage along here. Now we'll go ahead and check out the second row of seats. Alright, so now we're in the second row of seats. Looking at the rear door panel, you have a bottle holder, your power window control. Air vent. Another storage compartment. Your rear climate controls. And you got a screen back here so you can watch movies and whatnot. While the middle seats get armrests, they are not stitched. They don't have that leather stitching on top. Interesting quirk. And of course, you can open up the floor right there for the stow and go seats. The town and country features stow-and-go seating, which means the rear seats can be folded flat into the floor. This feature first appeared for 2005. Cargo volume with all the seats up is 33 cubic feet. Folding down the third row seats increases cargo space to 83.3 cubic feet, and with the second and third rows of seats folded down, the town and country has a cargo volume of 143.8 cubic feet.
And that will conclude this startup overview and tour of this 2016 Chrysler Town & Country Touring. Thanks for watching.